happening? I told her out. So there's like <laughs> most of the <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sponsored by Squarespace. The old classic introduction. I'm, 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 this is we're like fit. starting with a shut door. Sure. Like, oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Oh my gosh. So nice to meet you. Oh, wow. I, it's not like we haven't been talking for like an hour now. Okay. Just so we're just you. talking and walking <laughs> in. Oh. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> All right. So tell us, tell us everything. Well, I'm Sydney. And this is Sid's Fab Shop, which I started earlier this year. And I just wanted to make art and got started making cactus lamps of all things. I totally didn't have a niche. Um, and like, I kind of jumped into everything, just planning to like go with commissions and make whatever people wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and that eventually I'd find a niche. But my first commission, I proposed a cactus lamp. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I was like, I think there's more here. And I feel like that's how everything like starts, right? Yeah. It's like you just like fall into it. A ton of my lamps, like I'm really inspired by just like stuff I find. So there's a dumpster out back. I feel like that should be part of the tour. Let's go see the <laughs> dumpster. Let's go see the dumpster. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They always change these out. So I feel like you got to find a good place to climb up. <laughs> the dumpster provides. Oh my God. See it like who's throwing this away? Yeah, I think uh, we should take that for sure. Toss her out. So there's like a PVC down here and these like cardboard tubes. So you can't like sleep on the dumpster you can't because sleep the dumpster. you can't sleep on the dumpster because then that happens and now it's like kind of too intense to try to get them. But like, look at this. This is a great piece of wood. We'll use this today. It's a great piece of wood. Yeah. I think that piece of plywood, do you mind throwing that out? <laughs> it's my landlord's. And uh, I've gotten permission. He knows I dig around in it. Uh, <laughs> so he's caught me. <laughs> so they have a landscaping business. And I think a lot of this stuff is just like from when they're on jobs, they have, I don't know, like supplies they need to get rid of. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Made it. Cool. People also give me stuff a lot. Like I had a buddy do a bathroom renovation and these were all his scraps. So he brought all this by. So I'm always like, oh, tile yeah. is one, like I'm obsessed with tile. I want, you know, different colors and different shapes most of the time. Um, so usually I like take what I have and then figure out like, can I use it as it is? Or do I need to like uh, do something to it. So I've been like experimenting with like painting tile and getting like different textures oh, on it yeah. and like so that I can make the tile I want from, you know, tile that I find. Yep. So yeah, this is yesterday's yesterday's haul. Yesterday's haul. Um, yeah, this is, I'm calling it loose change. It's um, just another like small thing on the property and uh, my landlord was really cool with me just taking it over. They were just going to use it as tool storage and I really like, I don't know, I had this dream of like fixing it up a little bit right. and I don't know, turning it into a show space. There's so much. I feel like it's perfect as is. Like, it's yeah. Um, but yeah, these are the cactuses. Have a light bulb for this guy? Huh? Do you have a light bulb for this guy? Uh, yeah. The light roulette. Light roulette. So fun. This is Sweet D. Sweet D? <laughs> sweet D, yep. I don't know, Sweet D just sounded like, like she just looks sweet and like a summer character. I'll take Sweet D back there and we can kind of talk talk through it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Love it. I'll, do you, yeah, do you want to Yes, please. Hold the cactus, Sweet D, I can. I got it. Yeah, the landscaping crew is like always getting rid of good stuff. So I feel like I'm always just like, prowling back here for junk oh my gosh even like this little step ladder is so cute that's a nice little step it's ladder. a nice little step ladder if it breaks on me right now and this stump they were just gonna get rid of this stump that's so big i know oh it's gosh. so huge so yeah you guys saw like all of my junk and then 
I don't know if you ever want to get like a shot inside the next room, but that's like kind of where I like pile up all my junk before I organize it. Sometimes I'll like have a design in mind and then like look at what I have and see how I can like repurpose it. Right. Or I'll find something and be like, this is super cool. Like I have to use it and like I feel inspired to make a shape with it. Yep. So it's kind of like some give and take. And I usually... What? Yeah, what, go for what's it. What's an example of like something you found and you're like, all right, this is going to base my entire project off this basically. You know, like on Sweet D, the, the top, uh -huh. it was totally like, I said, it's a bowl. It's just a glass bowl. And I saw it and I was like, that's a cactus flower. Um, yep. This red um, lamp fixture up here, which is like, Gorgeous in the light if you want to pull it down and like hold out to the light. It. <laughs> yeah, it's from the 1800s apparently. Most of this stuff is like from DI or you know, like pretty inexpensive, but I saw that one and I was like, whoa. Yeah. The step stool is always part of my artistic process. This one's really cool. It's like an old, weird. It's called a bathroom shade. I don't know why. I've like never seen oh. one in a bathroom. So this one, like what I have in mind is I think I'll, like usually I have, a, I have a base and then this one I'm imagining having like a cactus come up and be like completely like flush with it like this and then you kind of have like a strange like face on the cactus almost. You take something, you find something, you're like uh -huh. kind of that kind of like helps form your idea. So I'm looking at all your like lampshades basically yeah. in here. Yeah. And it's like, all right how do we take this and turn it into a cactus? Once I sort of have like a like semi vision in my head, sometimes I'll like even start, like get started and like put some stuff together. Like this is like usually the type of base I'll start with. PVC is so easy to find and it's like an insulator. So I've made a bunch of my lamps just with like PVC that I find and I've got these little like I think they're for closets actually but i'll drill a oh, hole right. in here drill a hole in here and then i'll just like start with this mm -hmm. and then you know all my cacti have been different in terms of like how i build them out it's sort of depending on the movement i'm going for like i'll look at a lampshade and sort of like see what kind of movement i want and then go look at my junk pile and see like how can i facilitate that movement why cactuses I don't know. I just, you know, the, the first project I had was um, kind of an open-ended commission. They told me to make whatever, right. but they sent me pictures of their home. And it was like this really refined, like, southwestern vibe and color. No, you can't eat it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, man, I think a cactus lamp. Which, in hindsight, not the greatest thing for, like, a, hey, make anything commission. Um, I'm sure they loved it though. Can't show this part probably. They, uh, so it was for a 10 year anniversary uh -huh. and they broke up. Uh, they broke up like when I was like two days out from shipping it. But I want to show this part. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to refund you. Like, let's be done with this and I'll sell it and I'll make a collection. And that's where um, I called the collection Oh Hi Cacti. Mm -hmm. Just like, hi cacti. I feel like that happens so often where like, something goes awry something goes wrong yeah and because of that like you have to pivot and it becomes something even better yeah even yeah. my last like video where i made a jacket from a tent we didn't have the material my buddy forgot it at his house yeah so i'm like all right well let's like just go buy the material come to find out the tent manufacturers here in salt lake oh that's perfect yeah it's so, like we went and now i have like a cool relation with them and like yeah it's just funny how like when something goes wrong usually yeah. something better yeah. That would have would have came if like it would have gone right. Yeah, I've got it. universe. <laughs> All right, so this is the paper mache clay. Yeah. It smells like I feel like it smells like glue. Yeah, there's a lot of glue in it. Finishing the the process out. Thanks, Sid. Um, we got it. We let's say we have it all smooth. Then like doing the base wiring. Yep. Painting. Lamp. Yeah. Done? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I say that like it's Ton of fast and easy, but I feel <laughs> like that's probably days worth of work. Yeah, weeks. What's like the most time consuming part? 
the most time consuming part? Probably the paper mache clay because you got to put it all on. And especially when I'm going for like a smooth finish, uh -huh. like it takes some attention. And this is probably like seven layers of paper mache clay. So I like oh, put shit. it on, make sure it's smooth, make sure how I like it's that I like how it's contributing to the movement. Mm -hmm. And then I have to let it dry for you know, six to 12 hours. And then right. I come back and do another. And then there's the tasks that I just like put off that I like hate doing. Um, and those aren't time consuming. They're just like, you know, when you like put it off forever and it feels like a huge task. Emails. Emails, <laughs> I yeah. Can't, I can't write an email. <laughs> I've been needing to write an email for two weeks now. I haven't done it. It's I haven't done it. What's the email of this? Probably cutting tile. Mm. It's just like, like, I love saws. They make me feel powerful. Mm. Like I've been accumulating them for like the last six or seven years. And every time I get a new saw, I'm like super stoked. But it's like they're loud. It's like cats with vacuums. Like I just can't. Yeah. It's like loud. It's jarring. Listen. It's dangerous. Like I can't just like be listening to a pot. I'm like have to like pay Actually attention. Focus. That's the email of this. Yeah. But it makes sense. Yeah. Well, cool. Do you want to, should we try to make something? Sure. All right. We'll do like a square base. That's big enough to fit the battery pack inside. Here, stick the dowel up. I think we'll tile this. I think that'd be fun. Do like another kind of sweet D ish. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. A cluster flock of these. And then I'll paint that wire red. Oh, cool. 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 I do, or I'll, I'll watch. still be around I don't think like, any of those cat like either of those categories right so, like I couldn't really all the time I didn't know how to be uh, stuff is like way easier to deal with because you can like put ahead or be like okay that's true that's what you are like for hospitals and universities the way they room, but like okay. filled with these massive machines that like send cold water all through the campus <laughs> like <laughs> working on fun shit and yeah, I, I, oh, thank you. Yeah. Videos and stuff on like climbing training, so get stoked about anything. If you're stoked about it, I can get stoked about it. Yep. So, like, okay, I'm gonna let this dry. Stick. It's right in the bum. Things very similar. 
besides like I don't know, Mormon, Mormon TikTok was a thing. Um, is this there like you in the video? <laughs> Still. I don't know how this framing is. There you go. Cool. All, all I know is that you're a master giver a share. And now you are too. Shit, I'm trying. I don't know how you get this paper mache to get formed so well. See how it turns out. Cool. Cool. Perfect outro. Yay! Yay! It's done! <laughs> it's an outro. So, huge thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys don't know what Squarespace is, you haven't ever seen my videos because I talk about them every single video because I love them. I just want to have a cozy night in with some tea, a fireplace, and watch a movie with them. Um, but no, I really do. Uh, so Squarespace has everything you need to grow your business online. You can create a website, sell stuff online, market it, everything. All the goodies. One thing I really love about Squarespace is, is all the templates make it so you can quickly and easily make your website look professional. And then it's so customizable that it can be on brand to whatever you'd want the feeling of your website to be. So whether you're making an online store, and you're like a local business, portfolio, blog, restaurant, service, whatever, they have you covered. Their e-commerce is actually so easy and so simple. I got my first website up to sell the hand rings like within one night. They also make it super easy to market your business. And one of my favorite things is their email campaigns. And once again, they have templates so that you can have something that looks professional and so easy and quick. And again, customizable so that it is on brand. So you can actually go the link in my description and start making a website for free today. Oh, that's hot. And then when you do decide to like purchase a website, a domain, whatever, use the coupon code SHMOO to get 10% off that first purchase. So cool. So, Sid packed me a tinfoil dinner of some mortar to fill in the gaps. I don't know what tiles, so I did that real quick. Just filled it all in. Then I used a rag, a wet rag, to wipe off all the excess. And now we just gotta let that dry. Oh, JK, we gotta do all those sides. Now we gotta let it dry. But I'm impatient. So while it's drying, I'm gonna sand away at this paper mache, and it kind of worked. It was easier to just like shave it off with a razor. And then last, I just got some joint compound, like a patch filler for your walls, and just moved it on to the cactus. This is kind of cool because it was pink, and then when it was dry and ready to sand, it turned white. It's a pretty good indicator when I was ready to sand. And make it nice and smooth. Nice. So with it all smooth, I'm ready to paint it. So I taped off the tile to make sure that it stays nice and white and started painting it nice and green. I spray painted a little grady on it, actually spray painted the top because the caps were mixed up. So just went hard on the yellow up top and then had to repaint it. And I kept on doing kind of like a dry brush effect. Like once that was done, to kind of get a little bit of texture, just highlighting the textures on the cactus and there we go. I hit it with a high gloss spray paint. Boing. And now we're just gonna make that lamp. So all I did was I just balled up the wire, like fairy wire, put it on top and try to shape it into a flower, kinda. Take some UV resin and some dye, and then just cut it, ooh, not my finger, and shake it up. And yeah, it's like a transparent red. That should work. We're just gonna drip it onto the wire and hit it with that UV curer and just keep on going until it like thickens up and I want it to drip so like to drip down so I hold it upside down 
and just did it. I did that for hours until we got this. So now I'm gonna have to clean it all up to get final shots. So we're gonna rip off the tape. And I actually really like that green against that white. It looks real nice. Oh, put batteries in that bad boy. Turn it on. And there we go. Got my cute little cactus on. Oh, that's too dark. I might trim down some of those drips so it doesn't look so much like fire. And I might shorten that stem so it's kind of butted up against the cactus. But overall, pretty stoked with how it turned out. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell notification, and yeah.